We bought this Robinson R44 specifically so we could go on family adventures. And sweetie, what was the thing I promised you that we would do when we got the 44? Fly to pie. <laughs> That's right, we're gonna go fly to pie. Noise cancellation is on. No hard here. Good. <laughs> I can't wait to go flying. Well, you're in the right spot. This is going to be great. Air conditioning on. Ah, uh, that's nice and cool. Hey, sweetie, while I get the helicopter started up, do you want to talk about flying eye sunglasses? I sure do. I have loved having the flying eyes in the helicopter. These are the Kestrel Aviators. They are in matte black, and they are super light and flexible. So when I wear them, it feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Oh, boy. <laughs> we also love wearing our flying eyes in the Bronco. When we take the roof off and we're exposed to the sun, they work great there, too. Flying eyes. Flying. <laughs> the helicopter is basically ready to go. I'll just add that if you'd like to save 10% on your Flying Eyes sunglasses, whether you wear them in the air or if you have some great need to use them on the ground, click the link in the description below, Flying Eyes. And on that note, let's go flying. <laughs> let's see how she flies. Oh, yeah, tire 5309 Can we get a touch and go? 5309 Victor, only 24 clear for touch and go, then straight out departure proof. 24 clear for touch and go, and then a straight out. 5309 Victor, thank you. That feels pretty good. Flying nice and smooth, we'll talk to the tower. San Bernardino Tower, helicopter 284 Sierra Whiskey at the General Aviation Ramp. Request departure to the southeast with November. 284 Sierra Whiskey, San Bernardino Departure Ramp, pilot on risk. Hey, Kiddo, you doing good back there? Yeah. Good. So yeah, we're just gonna fly along for a little bit and see if we see anything interesting. This is, this is a fun, fun flight. Yay, Yay, great. I'm glad you're doing good back there. Where are we gonna eat some pie? So we're going to the Julian Pie Company and it's a special place for me because I've gone there so many times on um, new vehicle press launches. I went there once in the Enstrom. It's just a neat spot where they make a pretty good pie, but they also have a, a big parking lot and they do not mind if you land a helicopter there. When you get a helicopter, one of the big things is like, well, where can we go? What can we do with it, you know? That's one of the reasons why we went to Salt Lake Barbecue when we picked this up in Texas, because it just seemed like, I don't know, that's kind of cool, taking the flying machine to the barbecue spot. And uh, this is in that category. The flight's not too, too long to fly. We'll be there in a little more than 30 minutes. Wow. We got like a like a, a little, little bit of a tailwind. Thanks, Taily the Tailwind. Hi, everybody. I'm here to ease you along. <laughs> I've anthropomorphized myself. I'm the wind. <laughs> any house? I don't see as many houses on the road. That's right. There aren't many houses there. Got a little bit of a bump up with the wind. So the wind hits those uh, hills, and it pushes us up in the sky. Whee! Yeah, it's interesting how when you fly, you see things change so quickly. Yeah. That uh, the terrain, um, you know, goes from being trees and, hi and hilly to like smooth and dirty. Well, uh, sandy, dirty, it feels a little judgy. <laughs> Unicorn's having a fun flight too. Oh good, what, what does Unicorn say about the flights? She says she's never been up this high. She can only fly lower than this. Oh, Unicorn, oh. way to be brave so you can have a fun new experience. Unicorn was feeling a little nervous before the flight. Oh, is How that true? She's feeling now. She says she's feeling um, a lot better. Oh. oh, I'm glad to hear it. How did she make herself feel better? Um, and she she saw. 
how fun it would be. Oh, well, I'm really glad Unicorn decided to come on the uh, helicopter flight with us. Okay, let's play a little game of I Spy. I Spy something wet. Is it a sweaty daddy? Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, within her eye shot, that's probably the only uh, wet thing. Everybody still comfortable? I just want to check in every once in a while to make sure everybody's doing okay. I'm doing great! Yay! This is a very good helicopter flight. It's the best helicopter flight I've had so far. Well, that makes me very happy. Hey, let me ask you this. We've been in the air for a little while. Um, how does your headset feel? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, it feels great. Oh, it, look, I see another light. Yeah, there we go. So the people at Lightspeed Aviation were very, very kind. They saw a picture of uh, my daughter and I on Instagram, and they said, hey, can we send your daughter a pair of Sierra headsets? The Sierra is super cool because the way it's shaped, it's really good for smaller heads. And so, sure, okay, yeah, send the headset along. And uh, so we popped it on our, our kiddo, and um, this is our first time really trying it out in the air. We used it on the ground a lot, but uh, this is our first time flying with it. So does your headset, um, is it doing a good job keeping the noise out? Yeah, it's doing a great job. That's a big, big lake. <laughs> <laughs> it is a big, big lake. Yeah, we've been wearing uh, Lightspeed headsets for literally years. When I first bought my uh, Enstrom helicopter, I bought uh, two sets of Lightspeeds. So it only makes sense that we uh, stick with them. They just do a really good job with the active noise cancellation, making sure that our kiddo has uh, great hearing and uh, isn't uh, you know, experiencing hearing loss from flying in the chopper with us is really important. So thank you, Lightspeed, for uh, getting our daughter set up with a great pair of headsets. I got a question for you guys. How do you like your pie? Do you like your pie a la mode, with whipped cream, or unadorned? Tell us in the comments. <laughs> what do we think? How are we gonna have our pie? I'd with um, ice cream and whipped cream. Oh, oh. Uh, That's a good call. Creamy a la mode. <laughs> I want to see what kind of ice cream they have, what kind of pie they have. Is the whipped cream real whipped cream? I'm going to have a lot of decisions to make when we get to there. That is the sweetest <laughs> response I could have possibly anticipated. <laughs> what are those things down there? Oh, I think those are greenhouses. I think they grow plants in there. Wow. Ooh, and is that a cesspool? A cesspool? I, I mean, maybe. It's sad because I've used the phrase cesspool so many times in my life, but I don't know if I could actually define it if I needed to. How do you like flying in the new helicopter? What do you think? Is this better than the previous helicopter? Yeah, it's so much better. What do you like about it? It's comfier. Oh yeah, it is kind of comfy because we each have our own seats, which is cool. Instead of sharing that one big wide <laughs> seat. Yeah, I love you guys, but that was super cozy. <laughs> what is this business? Uh, this is a uh, subdivision, I think. What's interesting about here, you know, when you're out in the Hemet area, is like there's this combination of of uh, subdivisions and like suburban life and then also agriculture and yeah. they tend to butt right up against each other which is, is interesting. Hemet traffic, helicopter 284 Sierra Whiskey, two miles northeast on the south transition at 2500. Hemet. Give me a thumbs up if you're done with the call. I'm all done with the call. Although I'm looking out right now because I do see traffic. Oh. I there, I see him. Boop. I see the helicopter. Water? That's a big lake. It's called Diamond Valley Lake. Wow, that's a humongous lake. That is a humongous lake. Hello, Diamond Valley Lake. I bet it even take a couple days to walk around it and not run once. Oh, yeah, I bet you're right. Especially with your little kiddo legs. 
Yeah. Make that little sound like cartoons. <laughs> oh, before I forget, um, one thing I've learned uh, through buying this helicopter is that uh, swapping helicopters takes a really, really long time. So I know a lot of you guys subscribe to this channel for helicopter content. Thank you for your patience. Seriously, aviation moves at its own speed sometimes. <laughs> we tried to speed things along as quickly as possible, but here we are. We're in the sky. It's great. And if you're curious about our process of selling our old helicopter, buying our new helicopter, and bringing it back from Texas, click here. Not on her face, but like above her face. <laughs> I mean, there might not be room. It might just be on my face. I'm a lazy, lazy <laughs> editor. <laughs> What are you looking at? Is that the cloud? Mm -hmm. A bear in a hot tub? Well, I gotta get footage yeah, of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, gotta get a shot of that. And his leg is sticking out like it's a bear ghost. That's very funny. Oh, did you say a bear ghost? Yeah. So this is a bear in a hot tub. Bear in a hot That's tub. That's a ghost. Now it looks like a monster in a hot tub. Monster in a hot tub, I know, I know. It's serious. Are <laughs> you making fun of me? <laughs> so we'll actually be there in about 14 minutes. Okay. What time do they close again? Uh, soon. <laughs> that would be funny if this big pie, fly to pie uh, concept was just defied by not being there on time. Oh. Warner Springs traffic helicopter 284 Sierra Whiskey, two miles northwest on a south transition at 3,500. What part makes the helicopter fly? Well, if you look up, you'll see the blades. They spin around really, really fast, and those blades are just wings, but they're spinny wings, and they keep going around and around and around, and those blades um, fly just like a normal airplane wing, except they spin around the, uh, the helicopter. Mm. By the way, that lake off of our right is called Lake Henshaw. Lake Henshaw. Henshaw. This road right here is going to lead us right to the Julian Pie Company. Okay. So we'll just follow this road. Let's follow it. Slow it down to approach speed. And then we're gonna come in right nice and smooth and slow and steady. Right over here, right into the wind. There we go. So what do we think? Uh, we landed at Pi. How was the flight? Smooth. Comfy. Did you do okay back there, little one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's let this thing shut down and we're going to get some pie. Yay, pie. Yay, pie. You're walking up to get your pie. So family, what do we think about our first family flight together in the helicopter? It was very good. <laughs> the puns come strong and they come fast with the Museo family. Um, any uh, concerns with the helicopter? Were we all pretty comfortable? The setup on this is so much better than the Enstrom. I'm really grateful we were able to get this. <laughs> what do we think? Is the new R44 uh, helicopter family friendly? Family friendly. Yay! So this was just our first family helicopter adventure, but I think we'll have to have some more adventures. Um, if you guys have suggestions on where we should go next as a family, leave them in the comment section. All right, I think that went well. We're going to finish our pie and then we're gonna head on out of here. Thank you guys for joining us. High fives. And you, come get your high five. <laughs>